This is pretty neat. I ran across this today, clearance that I was going for $1.50, and I figured, why not? I didn't even know they had these. A uh, fuel cap tether kit. I always set it right, right in view so I don't forget to put it back on. Because uh, I don't know how many times I've stopped to tell people that their gas cap is, is hanging off their vehicle or sitting on top of their vehicle as they're driving away. But I realized that the it has it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. It has these little push plastic push pin things. There's no actual hole that's deep enough uh, to install it, but this little uh, metal piece here, it was about the right size for the O-rings uh, portion of the tether. And as long as this thing isn't hard plastic, if it's you know maybe a flexible rubber piece, I can stretch it to put it on there. If this wasn't too much bigger than than that, the ring on the tether. Those things, hard plastic, it doesn't really stretch, it's not rubbery. Well, it's kind of rubbery, but it doesn't stretch much. So I can't get it to, to slide on there. I can't get it to stretch enough to slide on there. So you have a couple of choices. Um, I don't like the idea and I'm not gonna do it, but you can take off one of these bolts and sl slip that on there and then put the bolt back, which I don't really care to do that. Uh, another thing I was looking at at the door, there is a slot here that looks like I can possibly force this, oops, sorry, the slot right there. I can possibly force this uh, into that, and I was thinking this side with the little arms to keep it from uh, coming back out too easily. Of course, it's going to be shoved in there, so I, I mean, either direction would be fine. Uh, maybe this side, so I don't, in, in case I just decide I want to get rid of it. But uh, there's that. And then also those little plastic tabs. Uh, they go in about one click. Um, I don't think it would hold very long. I think it popped back out, but you could try that too. But I am going to try this in here. I need both hands, so I'm going to have to put this down. Okay. Looks like it's okay. And test the door. It's out of the way. And it's in there enough to hold the weight of the gas cap. Okay, so pretty self-explanatory. Run that through until it gets to this little extender piece, or the notch, and then put the gas cap in here. So I put it on the outside because I can't put it on the threads, obviously. Uh, this one, it depends on the type of gas cap you're using. It's better if it has some kind of lip on the outside. So this one's going to be a little complicated, but it's okay. doesn't have the best hold because it's just wrapped around the outside, but it'll it'll do the job. Probably wouldn't hurt to put a little dab of Gorilla Glue at either end of the metal clip just to a little more stable in the cap. So, door closes fine. Something falls out. Oh, piece of paper. When I wiped it down. And it's not perfect. It's just holding on. But as long as you're not too rough with it, does the job. And as long as I don't drive away with it hanging there, uh, it, it'll keep the gas cap in place. And even if I drive off with it hanging there, I just have to get a new gas cap, hopefully not this metal part. But there you go. Oops. Just make sure this isn't bound up when you close the door. There you go.